A very good afternoon to the members, board of directors, management personnel, <laughs> auditor and scrutinizer. I, Rachna Goria, Company Secretary of Dalmia Seaman Northeast Limited, formerly known as Calcom Seaman India Limited, attending this meeting from Delhi, welcome you all to the 19th annual general meeting of the company being held through video conferencing. Facilitated by National Securities Depository Limited. I hope you all and your loved ones are safe and healthy. This meeting is held through video conferencing in compliance with the circular dated December 28, 2022, issued by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs, Government of India. The members attending this e annual general meeting through video conferencing facility are counted for the purpose of reckoning the quorum. Pursuant to the articles of association of the company, since there is no chairman, I, the members present, will elect among themselves one member who shall act as the chairman of the meeting. Accordingly, any member present may propose the name of other member to be elected as a chairman of the meeting. I propose the I name of Sri Deepak Thombe. Uh, no, let the member, let one of the members uh, okay, propose okay. the name. Yes. Uh, I, Kostav Shah, member of the company, propose the name of uh, Mr. Rajiv Kumar. Authorized representative of Dalmia Cement Bharat Limited to be elected as a chairman of the meet. Uh, thank you, Mr. Saha. For election of the chairman, we have Instapol facility through which all the members present can vote. The Instapol facility will be open for five minutes, and all the members are requested to please. Uh,
I now request Ms. Jyoti Sharma to please declare the result of the Insta poll. Good afternoon, everyone. We have received quota grade forms on the item related to election of Mr. We have received total eight votes on the item related to the election of Mr. Rajiv Kumar as the chairman. Out of eight votes, eight votes are in favor. Accordingly, Mr. Rajiv Kumar has been elected as chairman of the meeting. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, members. So Mr. Rajiv Kumar is now requested to please chair the meeting and address the members of the company. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you all for your valuable time and vote. I welcome all the members, directors, management personnel, auditors, and scrutinizers to the 19th annual general meeting of Dalmia Cement Northeast Limited, formerly known as Calcom Cement India Limited, being convened electronically through video conferencing mode. The company has taken all feasible steps to enable members to participate through video conferencing and vote on items being considered in the annual general meeting. We have the requisite quorum to conduct the proceedings of this annual general meeting. I accordingly call 19th annual general meeting of Darmia Cement Northeast Limited to order. However, before we start with the formal proceedings of the meeting, I request the company secretary to first introduce the members of the board of directors of the company attending this annual general meeting. Thank you, Rajivji. All the board members and management personnel are attending the meeting through video conferencing from different locations. Dr. Anup Kumar Mittam, an independent director and chairman of the Nomination and Remuneration Committee and member of the Audit Committee is attending the meeting from Noida. Namaskar ji. Thank you. Mr. Deepak Thombre, an independent director and chairman of the audit committee and the corporate social responsibility committee is attending the meeting from Pune. Thanks. Okay. Mr. Rajiv Kumar Chobe, a non-executive director and member of the audit committee and the corporate social responsibility committee is attending the meeting from Delhi. Good afternoon, everyone. And myself, Prachna Gorya, is attending the meeting from Delhi. Mr. Padmanabh Chakravarti, manager of the company, is attending the meeting from Guwahati, Assam. Good afternoon, everyone. And we also have Ms. Jyoti Sharma from Messrs. JDS and Associates, Practicing Company Secretary, the Secretary, Auditor, and Scrutinizer. She is attending the meeting from Delhi. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Rashna, and welcome all the directors and scrutinizer. Good afternoon, members, directors, and management of the company. A warm welcome to the 19th annual general meeting of the company. Despite geopolitical disturbances and rising interest rates to curb inflation, Indian economic growth continues to be relatively strong as the Indian government and RBI have managed the economic situation quite well. In India, inflation has started cooling off and interest rates have already peaked. We expect economic growth of about 6.5% in the financial year 24. Supported by push of government on infrastructure spending and positive developments in real estate sector, we expect continuing healthy growth of cement demand in financial year 24 to be around 8 to 10 percent after positive growth of 9 percent in financial year 23. Last financial year was tough for the cement industry due to increased energy prices. You will be pleased to know that the downward trend of energy prices which started in Q4 last year has further improved in Q1 of financial year 24, and this will augur well for the profitability margins of the industry. As regards Northeast, government of Assam and Honorable Prime Minister have shown clear commitment to develop Northeast region by announcing significant infrastructural projects in this region. Notable amongst these are construction of 60,000 houses under Prime Minister Awaz Yojana, till December 2024, 75,000 crore rupees allocated for road construction by National Highway Authorities of India. Railway has announced connectivity of all state capitals of Northeast by 2025-26. Guwahati Metro project has also been announced. 
2,800 megawatt debunk hydro power project and 200 megawatt NIPCO project are under execution. Gohati covered under smart city project. Northeast region continues to be the fastest growing market in the country with overall market growth of 10% CAGR over last eight years. We expect the growth to be around 10% in next four to five years. In financial year 23, your company Zavita was grown by 10% to rupees 393 crores, despite several challenges such as increase in energy prices and adverse situations during monsoon last year. Company's market share in Northeast region is around 12.2%, while consolidated Dalmia share in Northeast market is about 22.7%. During financial year 23, we set up waste heat recovery system of 8 megawatt solar project uh, of 8 megawatt, solar project of 24 megawatt, and roller press of 1.3 million ton cement capacity. The company also announced the plan to set up another clinker unit of 3.6 million ton at Umransu and 2.4 million ton cement unit at Lanka. These units involve capital outlay of about Rs. 3,642 crores and are expected to be commissioned by financial year 26. The company has already signed a memorandum of understanding with the Assam government with respect to these projects. The company's name has been changed to Dalmia Cement Northeast Limited. We are all set to capitalize on sound growth opportunity available in the industry and help contribute in economic development of Northeast region. On behalf of your company, I convey gratitude to all the lenders, stakeholders, business associates, and the central and state governments for their cooperation and support. I would like to thank entire team of the company for their uninfluencing commitment and passion to make the company grow profitability amongst headwinds of high energy prices and inflation. I also express my deepest gratitude to each one of you for continuing your trust, confidence, and support, and look forward the same in future as well. Thank you very much. I now request the company secretary to conduct further proceedings of this annual general meeting. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Dear members, please be informed that the e-voting facility on the resolutions proposed in the notice of the annual general meeting has been enabled and shall remain enabled for 15 minutes thereafter. Those members who have not voted through remote e-voting during July 4th to July 6th could please use the e-voting facility and complete their voting. Ms. Jyoti Sharma, Messrs. JVS and Associates, Practice and Communication has been appointed by the Board of Directors as scrutinizer to ensure that the e-voting process is conducted in a fair and transparent manner and to scrutinize the votes cast by members through remote e-voting and e-voting during the meeting. All documents and registrants referred to in the notice of the annual general meeting and required under the Company Act 2013, including Inter-India, Register of Directors, KMP, and their shareholding and Register of Loans are available electronically for inspection by the vendors. As the annual general meeting is being held through video conference, the facility for appointment of proxies by the members is not available. Members are requested to refer to the instructions provided in the notice or appearing on the video conference page for seamless participation through video conference. In case members face any difficulty, they may reach out on the helpline numbers. As the notice of this annual general meeting has already been circulated to all the members, with the permission of Chair, we would like to take the same as read. Yes, please. Thank you. Now, with the permission of the Chair, we will now take up the items as set forth in the notice of this annual general meeting in serial time. Please go ahead, Reshma. Thank you. The ordinary business set out in the annual general meeting notice pertain to two items. Item number one of the annual general meeting notice is to consider and adopt the audited standalone and consolidated financial statements of the company for the financial year ended March 31st, 2023, and the reports of the auditors and directors thereon. The financial statements and the reports of auditors and directors thereon have already been circulated to all the members. There is no qualification, reservation, or adverse remark in the statutory auditor report of Deloitte as to themselves, the statutory auditors, on the financial statements. The notes on financial statements referred to in the auditor's report are self-explanatory and do not call for any comments and explanation. The auditors have not reported any matter under Section 143.12 of the Companies Act. Auditors have 
however, drawn attention to note 30B to the standalone financial statements and note 29B to these consolidated financial statements regarding the disputes between two major shareholders of the company, which are pending for disposal with, before the Honorable High Court of Delhi and the Honorable High Court of Guwahati. Since the matters are subjudice, pending outcome, no adjustments are considered necessary in the standalone and consolidated financial statements. Also, there is no qualification, reservation, or adverse remark in the Secretarial Audit Report. Item 2 of the Annual General Meeting is to appoint a director in place of Mr. Achna Goria, who retires by rotation and being eligible, offers herself for reappointment. The special business set out in the Annual General Meeting pertain to four items. Item number three of the AGM notice is to consider and ratify the remuneration of Messrs. R.G. Goel and Associates, cost accountants, the cost auditors of the company for the financial year 23-24 by an ordinary resolution. Item number four of the annual general meeting is to consider and appoint Dr. Anup Kumar Mittal, who was appointed as an additional director in the independent category with effect from December 10, 2022 for a term up to five consecutive years as a director of the company in the independent category by an ordinary resolution. Item number five of the annual general meeting notice is to consider and appoint Shri Deepak Ambadas Kumbre, who was appointed as an additional director in the independent category with effect from January 25, 2023, for a term up to five consecutive years as a director of the company in the independent category by an ordinary resolution. Item number six of the annual general meeting is to consider and appoint Sri Rajiv Kumar Chobe, who was appointed as an additional director in the non-executive director category with effect from April 1, 2023, as a director of the company liable to retire by rotation by an ordinary resolution. There is no other business to transact. The resolutions and explanatory statement in respect of the above proposals, wherever applicable, have been provided in the notice of the annual general meeting. Further, no member has registered himself or herself as a speaker at the platform provided by the company in accordance with the instructions mentioned in the notice to the annual general. Thank you, Rashna. Since all the items of business as per notice of 19th annual general meeting have been taken up, I now declare the proceedings of the annual general meeting as completed. As mentioned earlier, the e-voting facility will continue to be available for 15 minutes after the meeting, I request and authorize the company secretary to declare the result of the voting upon receipt of the scrutinizer's report by placing the same on the website and notice board of the company at the earliest and not later than by Saturday, 9th July 2023. On behalf of the board of directors, management of Dalmia Cement Northeast Limited, I convey sincere thanks to all the members for attending and participating in this meeting. Stay healthy and safe. Take care, stay safe. Thank you. Thank you very much. I shall do the needful. Thank you all for attending the meeting. And I hereby give a vote of thanks to the chair. And on behalf of Dalmia Seaman Northeast Limited, and on my own behalf, thank you to the chairman, the board of directors, auditors, scrutinizer, and the valuable members of the company for making this e annual general meeting a success and extended, extending your full support. Thank you once again. Thank you. Thank you.